everybody, this is Praxis, and the solar electric system is finally set up, and it is charging the batteries down here. I'm going to go through it just briefly uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I know the video runs with this camera. It have to be kind of short. They have to be under five minutes. The other reason is that my understanding of these kinds of systems is kind of thin. I've set up solar electric systems using uh, deep cycle lead acid batteries before. I, I know those pretty well backwards and forwards. This is a little bit different. Uh, it's more complex. Uh, my father helped me to set it up. Uh, he, he has a lot of electrical engineering. Uh, background behind him and he was able to take the instruction manual which came with this which took a fair degree of interpretation in order to figure it out I mean if it was simple as like you know you hook uh, this bus bar up to this bus bar and you uh, you know run a wire from here to here you know I could have figured that out but the instructions that came with it were fairly interpretive uh, so he helped me with that so but I have a general sense of it I'm gonna run you through it uh, but you know, to beyond that point, it gets a little bit above my pay grade. But what I do know is that it's operating right now. We've got flashing lights. The readouts are suggesting the batteries are getting charged, and that's all good stuff. So what, what we've got uh, coming in here is we've got uh, just back up a, a beh uh, uh, behind your head, we've got some black wires that are coming from the outside. Those are coming straight down from the roof. Those are the solar uh, panel wires. There are four wires that are coming in plus a ground, uh, two for each array. Uh, the solar arrays uh, split up into two pieces, and then there's a ground grounding wire that uh, grounded out all of the metal up there. That all comes down here and that uh, uh, the the power ones, the, the two feeds from each um, uh, solar array, come down through these little curved things and they go up into these guys which are the combiner boxes. There are some fuses up in here, there are some surge suppressors in here and once they uh, get combined up in there they come down in here into this unit there's a lot going on in here. I'm not going to even try to explain what's going on in here. But this is kind of where all the junctions and unions are made in here, in this box uh, right here. This is the inverter. I'm going to get to this in just a moment. But the first place where the power goes is it gets spread out to these two units on the side, which are the charge controllers. They have the little blinking lights here. And what these guys do is they uh, supply power over to this inverter charger, and that actually manages the charging of the two batteries, uh, which are down here. So it's all functioning. Uh, there is one uh, one more run of wire that leaves the inverter charger, and it's the inverter part of it that's sending the power out, and that is going through this conduit uh, right here, up across over to the other side of the house where we have the breaker box, and it is sending power to the breaker box. At the moment, the lights in this room right now uh, are being uh, supplied from the power grid. We have not done the switch over yet where we're running off of this this system. What I want to do first is allow this to you know, charge the batteries, make sure it's working 100% properly, and then we're going to uh, do the connect over there. I'm definitely going to share that with you because that's a little bit hair raising what we're doing over there. It's perfectly safe, but it's just, you know, there's a lot of voltage over there and we wanted to make sure that we got it right. So we're going to be doing that in another video. But the good news is that this is all, it's all working, it's all functioning. We are going to be adding uh, some, well, these guys right here. Uh, mm. Uh, some EMP shield units. One is going to be connecting into uh, the charge controllers, and then there's another one that's going to be protecting the batteries. Again, you know, I've, I've spoken about EMP shield in the past. Uh, I've I have a fair degree of confidence that their device is offering some sort of protection in terms of whether or not this would save the system if there was an actual EMP released over our head. You know, We'll see if the test ever comes, but I do know that people have had experience with lightning strikes, and these have saved people's systems from lightning strikes. So even if I'm only getting this for lightning strike protection, I mean, that's that's good right there. Uh, so, um, so these are going to be wired in a little bit. First, I want to just make sure the whole thing is working properly as it is supposed to, and then I'll start adding extra components after the fact. So, but I mean, overall, I'm really psyched. You know, we're finally collecting power from the roof, putting it down in here, and then we're going to be able to uh, actually start using that power once we know all this is working and we can ship it down to our breaker box. That's it. Thanks for watching.